In this project, the spread of the coronavirus due to a cough in the open air is simulated. The present three-dimensional model is designed using SOLIDWORKS and Design Modeler software. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is on a structure. We perform a pressure-based solver. Uh, from the mesh display section, we can check all the boundaries and surfaces of the computational domain. For example, the man, the floor, the around boundaries, and also the inlet mouth. There are some features that make the RNGK Epsilon model more accurate and reliable for a wider class of flows than the standard K Epsilon model. The RNG-based K-Epsilon turbulence model is derived from the instantaneous Navier-Stokes equations using a mathematical technique called renormalization group or RNG method. The analytical derivation results in a model with constants different from those in the standard K-Epsilon model and additional terms and functions in the transport equation for k and also epsilon. To simulate this model, a discrete phase model or DPM must be used. This model allows us to study a set of discrete particles in a continuous fluid space. In this model, the wet particles of the virus selected from the patient's mouth are defined as a discrete phase and the airflow as a continuous phase in space. By activating the discrete phase model, it is time to define the injection process, which determines the type and quality of discrete particles injected into the model. The diameters of these particles are not constant and equal to each other, and therefore the rosin romler logarithmic distribution method is considered for the size of the diameters. Also the operating pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure and the gravity is enabled in along the z-axis and also the operating temperature is equal to 288.16 degree of Kelvin. The ambient temperature is equal to 300 degree of Kelvin and also it is an adiabatic wall and so the heat flux magnitude is equal to zero. The discrete phase model condition of the body is reflect. That means the reflection of particles that collide with the boundary and the body of the human. Initialization method allows you to choose between hybrid initialization and a standard initialization. Uh, hybrid initialization is a collection of boundary interpolation methods where variables such as temperature, turbulence, species fraction, volume fractions, and so on are automatically patched based on the main averaged values or a particular interpolation recipe. The hybrid initialization method is used for this CFD simulation. For this calculation, the number of time steps is equal to 700 and the time step size is defined as you can see. Also, the max iteration for every time step is equal to 20. The time advancement type is fixed. That means that the time step size don't varies along the time interval. At the end of the solution process, we obtain the particle tracking of the virus particles. This particle sequence is based on the output residence time. Uh, we take out the animation of the virus release, its disappearance over time. Also, we obtain and present the image related to the virus particle sequence at different times. The results show the spread of the virus during the patient's cough, which occurs in the open air over a period of 0.1 second to 1.75 seconds. At the first step, we should go to the scene section and select every desired view that we are going to display for our desired animation. One of these uh, titles are mesh that shows the human body and the other one is the particle track. 
we can add every uh, title from the new object section and uh, as we are going to show the animation of the particle tracking uh, from the patient's mouse both mesh and particle track should be selected but before selecting the particle track we should identify this in the specified section after setting up the scene section and also the particle track section we open the animation from the solution animations choose MPEG format to write and record the animation finally this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product today the whole world is facing one of the biggest and most fundamental human challenges called corona disease or covid 19. the main and dangerous problem of this disease is its high contagious power from an ill to a healthy person the main way the disease is transmitted from person to person is through viruses in the patient's oral and nasal secretions for this reason doctors recommended that shake hand and hugging be severely prevented but one of the problem is the spread of the virus of this disease through the patient's cough and sneezing in space. This spreads the virus particles in the open air and can infect a person at a certain distance from the patient. Therefore, one of the most up-to-date topics that researchers are constantly researching is calculating and examining the minimum appropriate distance between a sick person and a healthy person to prevent the spread and transmission of viruses when a patient coughs or sneezes called social distancing or physical distancing. Now, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, it is possible to simulate the release of coronavirus particles from the patient's mouth during coughing. The process of this simulation was performed at a time interval of 1.75 seconds with a time step size of 0.1 second from the beginning of this period. The virus was spread through coughing. This figure shows a schematic geometry of the present model. This model involves a human placed in a cube-shaped computational domain as open air and the human mouth is distinguished as a source of virus transmission. The present three-dimensional model is designed using SOLIDWORKS and Design Modeler software. The model geometry consists of a human with a standing position which is located within a certain computational computational space containing airflow the space around a human consists of a rectangular cube measuring 3 meter multiple 3.5 meter multiple 2.8 meter which represents a part of the open air around the person's body this free space is intended to be studied the distribution of wet viral particles released from the mouth. The surface of the patient's mouth is distinguished by an inlet mouse boundary condition because this surface is assumed as the discrete phase virus release in this model. This figure shows a view of the geometry. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. The accuracy of the mesh is higher in areas close to the patient's mouth than elsewhere. This figure shows the mesh. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy!